Good evening folks and welcome, I'm Alien Addict, sorry it's been so long, I'm a dad again, uh, so I've been looking after the missus, she had to have a c-section, so yeah, I've been doing a lot of housework, playing on Xbox and Playstation, you know how it is. Anyway, about the video, yeah, to the Stars Academy, they have some material, and they've locked it in a safe. What is it? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? If you don't know what this is, this is some material that could possibly be from elsewhere, out there. Um, and the company to the Stars Academy has it. Tom DeLonge's company. Now, this material, as Lou Alzando says, he states in the video that it could be from Earth, you know. Now, it could turn out to be a, a part of a, a alternator of a 1984 Cadillac, all right? You never, you really never know. To go through all that analysis of the material itself, there's got to, it's got to be weird, you know, it's got to, I imagine that this, these objects that they have that he's putting into this suitcase and wrapping them in, you know, bubble wrap, um, is really weird looking you know I, I wonder if he's got some weird um hieroglyph hiero hieroglyphics on there i cannot say that word for love no money hieroglyphics Hiero hier yeah whatever it's got some of them on it this is a hieroglyphic from hieroglyphic thank you for the correction so I've asked before what the investors are getting for the money. Now this is it, this research costs money. So whatever's going on here in the background is probably gonna cost thousands. Um, I'm just hoping that it's going to be something, you know, it's not, it's, you know, it's, it's gonna be like the, um, that little fella, that little alien thing um, that Dr. Stephen Greer uh, was in looking into with um, Dr. Nolan and then all of a sudden Dr. Nolan then goes and works for to the Stars Academy and says it's um, it's nothing it's just a fetus that's weird um, but yeah that's another video I'll leave the link in the description for that you can watch that um, but I did have a little bit of suspicions around that and I felt a bit sorry for Dr. Greer because all of a sudden Dr. Nolan takes his research to to the Stars Academy and it's then it's not an, it's nothing it's just a, a fetus when Dr. Nolan would seem quite excited before but why did the research go to to the Stars Academy anyway enough of that back to this because this is this is interesting and I'm, I'm just I've just got my suspicions uh, you have to do you have to keep that open mind now I will invest if Tom DeLong does an interview on my channel, I've said that. Um, no, I, I, I will, I, I don't know. If, if, I had, if I had $200 to just spare, you know, I'd invest. But I haven't, you know. A dad, dad of two, working the day. I can't just invest in that right yet. Um, I hope something comes of this. I hope what I want to see when they release the video of I don't want to see just some paperwork on it. I want to see a proper documented video. I want to, I want to see them interviewing the people they got the materials off. Uh, I want to know how they found them, what happened. I want to see the materials up close, I want to see reports, everything. I want to see, you know, them looking through it, through one of their x-ray things that tries to see inside it. I want to see everything. So, that's my chair squeaking. <sighs> Show us everything, Tom. That's what I'm asking for. That's what we want to see. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description to the to the stars academy's latest video if you haven't subscribed to them subscribe to because 
you know, then we we can all be involved in this. Um, I I just hope and pray that this is something good and not just a piece of crap, you know. It, I mean, it's it's interesting uh, when Lou says that you know this aerial threat what's up in the skies blah 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 you know they just want to know this no one's even mentioned the word aliens we're not talking about aliens we're not talking about extraterrestrial life we're simply saying that there is something out there in our airspace we don't control we don't know what the hell it is it it's quite possibly nothing that's out in space it's probably something from here that, that, that's very interesting. I find that more plausible than finding a lot of the stuff that people are saying about aliens up in the sky visiting Earth and things like that. As much as I believe um, they are up there, you know, out of all the billions and billions and billions of trillions and gazillions of stars, th there's got to be life out there, but you know, there's probably more to this planet than meets the eye. And I think if people are researching in that, I think it's a great thing. So if you want to look into this for yourselves, it's called the ADAM Research Project. ADAM stands for Acquisition and Data Analysis of Materials. It's a bit of a mouthful, especially for me, but it took me a few takes to get that just right. Um, one thing about this video as well. Um, so I have left the video in the description. Check out the video. Um, I got a bit of paranoia while I was watching this video. When it goes to the corn scene um, bit, it looks like a skull is placed in the corn. Now that could be just a rock. <laughs> I am going right back to the days when I had severe paranoia. I did get over that with a lot of therapy, but that's a fucking skull in that corn it's an alien skull don't come on Tom tell us that is an that's that's a fucking alien skull place they place that on purpose um, no all jokes aside though when they are going through the paperwork and you can see it's blurred out there is an image that does show what looks to be a UFO in the sky which I found quite interesting that that was put in that video I think there's a lot to come with this so a lot of people are messaging me and saying look to the stars academy a bunch of fraudsters or tom delong is just a front man um tom delong's being used blah 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 there could be something in this there really could uh, and I, I think we all need to start keeping a bit more of an open mind around it because i think if we just shut it off and say that the UFOs that have been released and all shit, blah, blah, blah. The Tic Tac UFO, that would have been released two years before. It hadn't. That was a video put over another video, but that's a different story. The stuff that they've released is all legit. As far as I know, the stuff that, that they've... And this is from somebody who debunks a lot of things. And it, I'm not being paid off by to the Stars Academy. I wish I was. Um, Tom, pay me some money, I'll say really good shit about you. Um, no, I, I think there's something in there. I think we need to start looking into this more, helping out with this community. I, you know, I'm sick of the bullshit. You know, I don't want to debug people. I've, I've said this to Tyler, I've said this to Blake from Third Phase of the Moon. I don't want to debug. I don't. It's not me. I started this channel because I'm generally interested in this subject. And I think, I mean, I've seen a lot of videos where people are really bashing to the Stars Academy. And I'm like, give it a chance. The, it's going to take time. And yeah, some of the stuff that is, the investors are investing in, the money's going on, you know, it's going on some of the stuff entertainment it i've said before that's going to be a really good thing i want to see more great sci-fi programs on 
Netflix or whatever, you know. So it's not a bad thing that... I'm going to tell you something about Tom. So Tom DeLong, I've followed for years. I used to be well into Blink-182. And this lad used to sit on the back of the, uh, you know, the coach thing when they're going driving to the different concerts and what have you. And he used to read books and research UFOs. That was his hobby. You know, there's, there's videos out there showing interviews with him where he's, he's fucking a real crazy motherfucker. I'm, I'm not about conspiracies and this, that and the other, but he's developed over time. And that's what every all of us do. I mean, I was watching fucking lots of shite UFO videos ages back, you know, before I started this channel. And I used to think, wow, that's brilliant. I'm a, my mate, my best mate, Stu Universe, he sends me bollocks all the time. Not his bollocks, but he sends me like UFOs that they're just fake, you know, but it's a learning curve. And a lot of us out there will do videos or watch videos on stuff. You know, sometimes other YouTubers put out a fake UFO that they've got off another channel because they get excited and think it's something, they think it's real. Uh, it is, it's all a learning curve. This is so far out there that I think we're going to have to start to stick together. And all the big channels need to speak to the smaller channels and vice versa. Maybe coming... I'm not coming away from the debunking. I'll still debunk if I think someone's blatantly fake something like I did in the last third phase video. I'll, I'll, I will call them out. If Tyler does something, I'll call him out on it. He hasn't, so... I've not, I've not called him out recently. But... I can't call to the Stars Academy out as bullshit. I don't see if if people have evidence that these are fraudsters, that these are fooling everybody, these are just taking the money, then message me in the comments below. We'll just have a debate on it. But I'll, I'll, I'll just think on this. Blink One Eight Two, very very successful band. He doesn't need to the Stars Academy. He, he doesn't. It's a genuine interest. So I'm asking the community to come together here. I want to know what you think they've got. What is in that safe? Is it going to be just something and nothing? Or do you actually think they got something in there? If you have got information what they have, send it to me but I want to back it up don't just send me off they've got this because I've heard it off so and so give me evidence I want to know what they've got in there and I will keep following this but I want you to keep an open mind most of all don't just snub it off because if we do that with everything then we won't get anywhere so keep an open mind motherfuckers yeah anyway I'm Alien Addict. If you haven't subscribed, then smash the fuck out that subscribe button. Pardon my French, but do it. And make sure you hit that little bell end so you never miss a beat. I'm Alien Addict. Good night, God bless. Mind the bugs, don't bite. Talking about aliens, they're fucking real, you son of a bitch.